Today we're going to have a look at the app Drawing Pad. First we need to scroll back and search. Let's just go draw D-R-A-W and it turns up. Once the app opens we have a few choices. We can click on New to start drawing a new picture, Album to have a look at the pictures we've already used or drawn and then the bookshelf if we've bought any books or colouring in pads. I'm going to choose New. There are lots of wonderful tools that we can choose. There's paint, pencils, crayons, textures, rubbers. There's lots of different backgrounds we can select. You can select different colours. You can select different patterns and textures. You can even select lines or graph paper. And then there's some very special backgrounds that you can choose. Make sure you pick a background that's relevant to the picture you're going to be drawing. When you're happy with your background, press home. You can also choose to use some stickers. You can choose a photo from your photo album. When you put the photo on your album, you can make it go bigger or smaller. You can move it around to different angles. Once you're happy with it, press on the stamp button and that will stick it in place. There are lots of different stickers to choose from. Again, just click on them and they'll go into your picture and you can make them bigger or smaller. You can also use tools to send your pictures behind or bring your pictures in front. Again, once you're happy with the picture, just stamp and it'll be stamped there. If you don't like it, you can click on the rubbish bin and it will disappear. If you, don't, the, if you don't like your background, the only way to get rid of it is to select the white background instead. If you're unhappy with the pic your picture as a whole, the easiest thing to do is to choose the rubber and scrunch up the paper. This gives you the opportunity to erase everything. Okay, let's have another look at the tools that are available. If you choose the paint, you can see that your whole variety of different paint brushes and colours are available for you. And in different, you can choose fat paint brushes or thin paint brushes. You can also choose pencils. I'm going to choose a yellow pencil for drawing my son. Choosing two different yellows just gives it a little bit more texture and depth. There's also textures. These create a much cleaner and more solid line for our drawings. Chalk on the other hand and the crayon are much more textured. If you're unhappy with any of your picture, you can choose the eraser. You can erase just a little bit that you might not like, or you can erase a whole lot. Again, remember if you're really unhappy with your picture, you can choose to erase everything, but I won't this time. There's also stamps. These can be used to make individual stamps, or to fill a whole area up with stamps. Once you're happy with your picture, you can choose to save it. Press the home button, press the USB button, and then you can choose to save it to your photo album, or you can choose to save it to the drawing pad album. You can even print or email your picture. Once you're finished, press home and menu and you're back at the main menu where you can either start a new picture or continue your old one. Thanks for watching.